Let's talk about one of the most significant things you can do to build your practice, painless dentistry. If you can start with painless and profound local anesthetic, you are going to be miles ahead of most dentists. I can't tell you how many new patients I see in my practice and they say the dentist was never able to get my teeth numb or the local injections hurt. Don't do that. Don't mess up on that count. So let's talk about how to give painless and profound local anesthetic. Now I'm going straight to the most feared place to get local anesthesia, the maxillary anterior. Now we're first applying this topical anesthetic gel. It's compounded. You can have it compounded in a pharmacy. It's lidocaine 100 milligrams, prilocaine 100 milligrams, and tetra tetracaine 100 milligrams and it's 30 grams total and you wipe that on the tissue and it you want to leave that for about a minute then i'm going to come back and spray see i've got two by twos behind the area that i'm anesthetizing i'm going to spray this hurricane topical anesthetic spray it's 20 percent benzocaine oral anesthetic i'm going to spray that in that area then this is very important blow it in with your air syringe. Blow it into the tissue. You just need a tiny bit of penetration. So the topical and then the benzocaine, the hurricane spray. Then blow it into the tissue. Then I'm gonna use a 30 gauge needle short with 4% sitness plane without vasoconstrictor. Now why the sitness? It's pH neutral. It doesn't sting. So we're going to anesthetize the tissue, then we're going to come back with lidocaine or marcaine and anesthetize the teeth once the tissue is completely numbed and has been numbed painlessly with the lidocaine, I mean with the sitness plane. So you just take the tip of that 30 gauge needle and just barely pierce the tissue right at the junction of the attached and unattached gingiva with the bevel toward the bone. Just barely pierce that tissue and tap the end of the syringe. Just tap it. So just a little bit of the local anesthetic goes out into the tissue. Then you can go a little bit further into the tissue and just tapping the end of that syringe so just little bits are going out there because if you squirt too much in at one time, the pressure can be painful. Now doing the same thing on the other side. See here's right at the junction. I'm, I'm in the unattached, non-keratinized gingiva, but I'm, doing, I'm placing the local anesthetic right at the junction of the attached and the unattached with the bevel toward the bone. Just barely pierce that tissue and just tap the end of the syringe. And then you can go further into the tissue. And that's the Sitness 4% plane, no vasoconstrictor. And I'm gonna rub that, massage that in. Then I'm gonna come back, in this case with lidocaine. Now the tissue's numb, so they're not gonna feel anything. The lidocaine, 2%, 1 to 100,000 epinephrine is a more profound local anesthetic. So I can use that once I've numbed the tissue painlessly with the Sitness 4% plane. The patient will never feel a thing. If you can do that, provide painless and profound local anesthetic, you are ahead of the game. That's the Dental Minute. These techniques work, and they work every time.